Welcome to Toyota Time with Timmy the Toolman and Sean and special returning guest Greg. We've got Greg over at the Timmy the Toolman studios again. You should remember him. We're trying to figure out his misfire problem. And the last time we had him over, we did a leak down test of the number one cylinder and we did a timing check. And we didn't figure anything out from those. But as I was watching the footage from the timing check video, I noticed something a little disturbing. And it was the whole harmonic balancer moving. And so that's the video we recently posted showing that play. Today, what we're gonna do is try to verify where is that play coming from? Is it actually from the crankshaft itself or is it possibly a separated harmonic balancer and all that play we're seeing is in the harmonic balancer? It's my theory that the play is from the crankshaft and the reasoning is, is because we have this misfire that we can't figure out. And we've done a lot of diagnosing and throwing parts at it and we couldn't figure it out. So if the crankshaft is actually moving in and out as much as we are seeing it move in and out, I can see how that can cause a misfire because behind the harmonic balancer, a crankshaft timing gear slides onto the crankshaft. And then on the driver's side of the crankshaft, there's the crankshaft position sensor. And it's not too hard to understand if that whole crankshaft is moving in and out, it could potentially throw off the reading that the crankshaft position sensor is getting. So it's my best guess right now before we get into this job that it is the crankshaft moving and the cause of the misfire is because of that play. And it's our theory that it is the cause of his engine knock noise that he's been experiencing for around five years now but the noise has been getting a little worse. Somebody had pointed me in the direction that a thrust washer could have maybe given way. So possibly maybe one thrust washer was a problem at the beginning of the knocking noise. And then maybe over time, the other thrust washer gave way. And now we have such gross movement in the crankshaft, it's getting a misfire all the time. Like we reset it and then within about five miles, the misfire CEL pops up again. So the main problem with this is that Greg can't get his truck registered because he can't get it smogged with this misfire that we can't get rid of. Anyways, I blah blah a lot. Let's get going with this job and we'll see what we can find. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do to investigate this crankshaft play further is we're gonna loosen all the drive belts. The alternator belt, the power steering belt, and then down below the AC belt. So we currently have all the belts loose. You can see all the play. And the reason why we did that is to take tension off of the crankshaft pulley, also known as a harmonic balancer, so we can potentially recreate the movement with our hands. So now that there's no tension on the pulley, I'm gonna get underneath, I'm gonna get my hands on that harmonic balancer and I'm gonna pull it in and out and you'll see that I'm able to move the whole pulley just under my own power. So I have both my hands wrapped around the harmonic balancer and I'm going to be able to move it. Oh yeah. When I'm looking at this, I'm also able to see the crank pulley bolt and somebody had a theory that possibly it was the harmonic balancer that was moving and not the crankshaft but as I move this harmonic balancer back and forth I can see the bolt coming with the whole assembly so now what we're gonna do to take all doubt from our minds and from your mind that this could be something else other than playing the crankshaft I'm gonna get underneath the rig and I'm gonna take off the access plate at the bottom of the bell housing. It's held on by four 12 millimeter bolts. If you watched our transmission replacement video, you saw how we did that. So I already got the bell housing access plate off. And then now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna again grab a hold of the harmonic balancer, moving it in and out while Greg is filming and watching the flex plate. If the crankshaft is the culprit and it's actually moving in the engine, we're gonna see that flex plate move also with the harmonic balancer because 
at the back of the engine, the flex plate is bolted to the crankshaft and then the flex plate is also bolted to the torque converter. You're going to see that as I move that harmonic balancer, you're also going to see that flex plate moving, letting us know, no doubt in our mind, it's actual movement in the crankshaft and it's not movement in a bad harmonic balancer. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna move it back and forth and we have the camera pointing right at the flex plate. You can see the teeth that the starter connect to. And that is all crankshaft play. All right, we are all done with our investigation. And I think Greg and I could say we're all done with the major hunt to find the source of his misfire. Even if it isn't the source of his misfire with that gross crankshaft play, we know his engine isn't meant for this life for too much longer. If it was a little daily driver that he was just gonna use to go to the grocery store, maybe it would be okay just to drive it like that and then roll the dice that he's not gonna get pulled over by a cop and notice that his tags are expired by a long shot. But Greg wants to use this as a trail rig. He wants to go venturing. And with an engine that's compromised like this, he's not gonna just ignore the problem. So he's gonna do something. We don't know yet. Maybe he's gonna sell the thing, part it out, do an engine swap, which I'll help him with if he wants that, and whatever. Maybe he's gonna drop a V8 in it. I don't know if I'll help him with that. Anyways, we thank you for watching Toyota Time with Timmy the Tool Man and Sean and special returning guest Greg. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, do that below. Take care. Bye-bye. Sick mods and unfortunately, bad engines.